Okay, here's a basic tutorial of how to use um, the Android box. Uh, when you first turn it on, this is the screen that you're going to have. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to settings um, using your arrow keys on your on your remote. Okay, I'm using a keyboard like this with a trackpad, whatever, a lot simpler. So anyways, uh, you're going to scroll down to here, click on settings. Okay, in the top left here, see where it says Wi-Fi? It should be on. If you're not using Wi-Fi and you have a direct connection in, click Wi-Fi off and then turn Ethernet on. Okay, you'll see it. So there's Wi-Fi on, you'll see the list. Right now, I'm the stable, so I'm connected to there. Um, prior to this, I clicked on it. Um, watch like this. And you type in your password and then you go and you press connect. Okay, if it doesn't say connected, like it does there, you are not connected. Okay, if it says authenticating or authentication problem, it means your password is uh, incorrect. Okay, it's case sensitive. Uh, another display um, down here, just other options that you can have. Please don't mess around with them too much. Um, the only thing I can really tell you is um, under apps here, because sometimes you might it might say uh, cache full, C A C H E full. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down to apps right here and you're going to go to XBMC right here. Click on it and see right here where it says cache right there, right here, clear cache. That's the only thing you're clearing. If you clear this, your data, it's going to reset everything and then it has to get redone. Okay. So only clear your cache. Okay. Um, if it asks, that's the only thing. So next you're going to press back or return, return button, or if you press the home button at any time, it returns to this screen right here, okay? So right here you got your Google, uh, there's a browser right there, there's a browser right here, your date time there, and here is uh, your apps that I have downloaded, you can go to the right here, and if you just scroll over, you got those two, okay? So just press return. So we're going to go into XPMC, which is the bad boy, okay? So this is what um, you guys all got this for. So right now I have it set up for your music. Um, um, and the main thing is your videos right here. So right here is the five main ones that I use the most. They're my favorite. Um, and I'll show you how to use them in a second. Other ones you can go is if you highlight videos, go to add-ons here. Click on that. And these are the ones that are downloaded right now, okay? So those are the ones that are downloaded right now. Phoenix is another good one for sports. NaviX, once you get more used to it, it's another great one. FTV is a good one for kids and cartoons. Uh, same with Entertainment Hub, another one for kids and cartoons. Okay, so uh, if you want to see more, go down to get more. Okay, at the bottom of that. And then there's literally thousands of them right here that you can choose from and literally all you're going to do is you go up to it, if you find it you're going to click on it you're going to click install okay and once it installs it'll say enabled okay and then it will go into this main or the add-on screen as installed okay so one of my favorites right now is um, ice films okay so it's the middle one there so we're going to click on it and it's going to load up here Okay, so it's going to give you the option of what you want. So TV show or movie, okay? So say you want to watch a movie, you click on movie. Um, you can either use the A to Z directory. Um, or, yeah, that's basically the best one for that if you're, if you're looking, searching for a specific movie. Uh, for this instance, I'm just going to use popular because it will populate it. Uh, so these are the most popular ones on here. Um, there's literally thousands upon thousands of movies on the A to Z directory. So anyways, right here where it says HD on the side, that just means that there's a stream available that isn't HD. So say Avatar, click on Avatar. This right now, it just uploaded, gathered all the sources for Avatar, okay? So on here, so Ice Films right here, so it says 180 Films, Move Real, Huge Files Did Play. And then it says the, the uh, quality, so HD or DVD quality. Not much difference between the two. Uh, the only difference is is that HD uses twice as much bandwidth as DVD does. Okay, so I'm going to try this one right here, the source one right here. Click on it. 
resolve. And the reason it gives you so many is because sometimes if a stream doesn't work, you stop it and then you go back and pick another one, okay? So right now, simple as that, the movie started, okay? So now to pause the movie, or to stop the movie, which if you're done watching, you need to stop the movie. What you're going to do is you're going to press OK. Okay, and what OK does is it brings up this menu here, okay? And then you're going to scroll down, okay? And you're going to either go to stop or pause, okay? If you don't do that, then it's just going to continue playing, okay? And in the background, okay? So that's basically how you start a movie, how you, how you uh, yeah. And uh, another thing is, is if it, if it buffers for too long, like say if it doesn't start within 5-10 seconds, stop the movie, okay? Like I said, press OK, and then scroll down to stop, okay? So that's basically how you do a movie. It's the exact same thing for TV shows. Um, it'll show you need is a directory, which is basically alphabetical where you pick the letter, or for your more popular movies, use popular. And um, it's going to be like your uh, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, uh, Family Guy. Like that, that's your fastest rail for all seasons. So basically, uh, for this, say Big Bang, click on Big Bang Theory. Okay, it populates your seasons. Okay, so right now it's season eight. So click on seasons, and then it'll give you every episode that's uh, played so far. Okay, same thing. Um, and it's exact same for all of these really, it's a, um, any of these ones, Genesis, one channel, they're all good, Movie 25 is a good one too, like I said, these are the ones that I use, if I can't find a movie in one of them, like say Ice Films, I can't find a movie or a show in them, uh, then either Genesis, one channel, or Movie 25 is going to get it, and uh, you're going to get used to your sources, you're going to have your go-to sources, uh, and it'll just be easier the more you use it, so now sports. Right here, Digitelli Sports, bottom right, you're gonna click on it. Okay, go to Live Sports. And you're gonna go with the top one, ATHGnet.tv. Click on it, it's populating your list. So this is all the channels that are available, or it'll give you the game that's available, okay, on all sports. Okay. So you just click on it and basically it'll be uh, the exact same thing. It'll, it gives you multiple streams because one one's quality is not good, the other one uh, might work where you can go first row sports, same thing, exact same thing. Uh, it'll give you times on the side though, okay, for start times and that's how it categorizes it. Uh, another one right here, if you go to add-ons, video add-ons, highlight it and you go to Phoenix, this one right here. You can actually find good sports feeds in that one too. I try uh, Digitelli Sports first. Okay, so when you're done watching the movie, you stopped it, you're gonna go down here, click the power, and you're gonna exit it, okay? Um, meantime, for time sakes, it takes about 30 seconds for it to shut down, but I'm just gonna press the home button, okay? It's the home button right there, okay? And it brings you back to this screen, okay? So to shut it down, you're literally gonna press and hold the power button okay and then that's going to shut it down if you just press the power button quickly it's gonna make it go to sleep and really the only way to get it to wake up again if it doesn't um, turn on with the button is to unplug and just plug it back in okay so for whatever reason say this thing freezes which it won't very often if it ever does is you're going to click on this button right here see the mouse button you're going to press and hold it okay and it's going to tell you in the bottom that uh, mouse is enabled but right now i'm actually using a keyboard so it won't so basically it's one of those things where you just press the arrow key and it acts as your cursor okay so if you do it you go to here this little double rectangle that's like your uh, task manager uh, on an iphone where you double click the home button so basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on it okay and then you're going to scroll up Okay, and you're gonna go over. Okay, you're gonna press and hold the OK button, and then it's gonna say remove from list. And you're gonna remove from list. Or if you have a keyboard, you're gonna you're gonna click and hold and drag down. Okay, and basically what that does is turn it off or it resets the app. Okay, and in the meantime now, if you can, go here, power it off every time. You gotta turn it off every single time when you press and hold 
the power button or you uh, manually do it by clicking there and then going to standby. That's it. That's uh, your tutorial. Hope you enjoy and let me know if you need anything.